Hey, good morning. Jeremy Bates here, Buffalo Modular Homes. It's a beautiful sunny day. We're in Attica. Behind me is the fantastic three bedrooms, two bath, 1830 square feet, two car attached garage. It's 12 months since this family moved in. They were kind enough to invite us into their home, tell us some of the challenges that they've had since they've moved in, some of the things that they love about the house. Let's take a walk through. Come on. How are we doing? Good, how you doing? How are you? Ready for a walkthrough? Yeah, let's go. Let's do it. Kyle, Danielle, thank you guys for inviting us into your house. Uh, we're 12 months after build and people love your house. And the video that we took uh, during set day was incredible. People really love it. We talked a little bit about some of the funny comments. Um, but people are interested in building and more so they're interested in learning they uh, would be really interested to hear just candidly from you guys some of the great things about your house some of the things maybe you'd do differently if you could you know start from scratch again um, this is the fantastic 1830 square feet open concept living room kitchen nook we've got the tray ceiling we've got the led lights we've got the big flat island we've got the barn doors Give me some feedback from what you guys have experienced in just kind of living in this space for, you know, the better part of a year or maybe a little more than a year. What? We love the kitchen. We spend 90% of our time sitting at the island. Um, having two young kids, it's great because they can just sit here and play. We can cook, we can watch TV, and we don't have to worry about them. Um, the biggest things that we've noticed, uh, we live on top of a hill, so... The breeze comes in from the front of the house, no, the back of the house, and we don't have those two windows in the back do not open. Um, so that's one thing that we would have changed if we could, so just this, to get the breeze. So this plan had these two fixed windows with shelves in front of them, which look great on the plan, but you're saying if you could do it differently because you've got the, the, the breeze coming from the north, I think this is the north, and you've got these big windows on the south side, if these windows were bigger, maybe even all the way down closer to the thing that we could open, you're, you know, it would just be so much uh, yeah. cooler in the house. If you were to do that, would you do the shelves or would you omit the shelves? I think we would omit the shelves just because of the view in the back. Um, that would be more unobstructed yeah, view. Yeah, love looking out there, so it kind of blocks it a little bit, but. You mentioned the island. This is a big flat island, which is my, I mean, that's what I like. We have this in our house, a big flat island. Do you like this big flat island? Some people have uh, requested like a two-tiered island. Would, you know, are you happy with this? We love it. Um, as you can see, we don't even have a kitchen table, so it saves us tons of room. How many bar stools are here? One, two, three, four, five, six. Yep. And room for a high chair. And a high chair. <laughs> wow, seven. Yeah. Seven bar stools in the fantastic kitchen. And this was the standard island, right? Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. What about the barn doors? Do you like them? Do you not like them? Oh, we love the barn doors. And anyone that comes into the house, that's one of the first things that they notice is the barn doors. And we love the pantry space. Where's the pantry? Inside, well, inside the cupboard. Oh, over here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And if we don't want the kids getting inside the cupboards, we just open the barn doors and then they can't get inside of them. So loads of stuff you can fill this up with. You've got the pantries on both sides. You've got a pantry here as well. And then, so these close and, and then this opens up and you've got, you've got a whole drink station and basically use it for drink stations yeah. and stuff, right? And DVDs, yeah. drink stations and DVDs. <laughs> and so you've got nice trivet, by the way. Hey, what's this? Buffalo Modular Homes one. Uh, so when you close this, this is a lock, so that's for your little guy? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So, uh, so you love the barn doors, you love the pantry, good, good pantry space, 24-inch um, uh, cabinet over here. Okay. So, oh, did you guys, this is an upgrade, right? These uh, drawers, or did it come with all this drawer stack? I think it's an upgrade. Isn't it an upgrade? That was standard? Mm -hmm. I believe so. Do you like the drawers? The drawers are yeah. good. Can I open? What am I going to find? Uh, Pots and pans. Yeah. This is what you put in the drawers. 
This is what we use. This is what we use our drawers for as well. Okay, so you love the drawers. And the soft clothes. Soft clothes. Those are really nice. We've got a big. I forgot you've got this big tip out tray here uh, on the kitchen sink, which is great. Okay, so the kitchen's great. Barn doors are great. Uh, we're 12 months. We're 12 months in, and so we're here. Also, Dale's here doing some repair work. Talk, let's talk a little bit about some of the repairs that we experienced. So one of them was we've had we had a couple little bit of pieces of trim here that needed to be fixed. This leg over here, this leg is is off. It's not level, and we didn't notice that. When I mean, you're sitting here and any of your guests come over within 30 seconds, they go, your leg isn't isn't level. So this is off. You've got two legs on this island, and one of them is for whatever reason it's not. Uh, level and actually Kyle you pointed out that this piece of trim here you can see it's it's okay down here but then it it comes down here and it, it probably it looks warped at this end yeah. it might have just you know uh, it might have uh, just just warped basically dried out and, and, and racked and so we're gonna either um, pull this off and reset it reset the leg or maybe even just replace the piece of wood, uh, depending on what needs to happen, right? So that's something that happened. Like, did it happen uh, right away? Did you notice it right away? Or did it happen sort of some months after you moved in? Uh, Do you remember? I'm sure, it was, I'm sure it was like that the whole time. It just never, it just never caught our eye. I we mean, just never noticed, noticed yeah, it. The miter, you can see, is like a quarter of an inch off, and it just didn't catch our eye. Yeah, it just sort of bows down and then it pulls this off the, the edge. And so we'll just have to uh, fix that. Okay, so what about we're here replacing or patching some of your drywall and we've had some splits over here and here and where else? We've yeah. got some corner bead that was coming up a little bit here. Some corner bead here. So we're fixing this um, over here on the marriage wall. There was a there was some work that we were, were patching a little bit here as well. So basically throughout the house, there's at least a dozen, 15 odd spots of drywall cracks that we're fixing. Corner bead is, has oh. popped out. Um, whatever it, it, it's, it's caused from, maybe the drying of the, the house. It could be the settling of the house a little bit. These sorts of um, these sorts of repairs. So we're repairing all of those for you now. It's all expected stuff with the the settling of the house. It's I mean it's all expected. So when we were talking uh, earlier, you moved in in last October, yeah. and uh, you were saying that it was really some of the cracks started happening that following summer. Yeah. So with the heat, maybe the change of season. Freeze thaw. I mean. Freeze thaw. Everything was just moving, settling where it needed to be. I mean, some of the door frames, some of the doors needed to be worked on a little bit to be able to shut. So they might have expanded or swelled. Okay. Just racked a little bit. And, okay. I mean, we took care of it. and I mean, it's, like I said, it's all expected things with the new build. So all of this flooring is LVP flooring. And this is really a great floor that everybody uh, wants and and this is probably our most pop one of our most popular products and and we're, we're doing it here seamless through the nook and kitchen and the foyer all of this open space is seamless what's your how do you like the floor i love the floor because we have three dogs three hunting dogs and you would never know we had them there's no scratches it cleans up easy dogs are in this room yeah the dogs are i haven't seen any scratches on here at all i mean it's easy cleanup um, and there's not a single scratch. You won't see a single scratch in the whole house. Okay, but we've got a little problem here, right? There, right right here. So we're coming in right here, and basically this seam right here on this piece, these two pieces, there's a problem, and it could be that the seam was broken originally. It could be that maybe it's broken after, but regardless, we have to fix this. So probably what we're gonna end up doing is we're probably gonna try to slide these two pieces out, or if we can bring this two, these two pieces in a little bit tighter, maybe that will resolve it. But there's a seam here that is clicking and we need to fix it, right? Okay. But other than that, the floor is yeah, what you expected? The love the floor and everybody that comes in and walks through the house loves the floor too.
So another area that we have to uh, repair is in this hallway area, we have carpet and it's between basically four rooms and you can see that it's, it needs to be restretched and reset. So basically what you do there is you restretch this out and you recut it and you reseam it and then it'll be nice and tight again. So not a big issue, but something that we want to come back and make sure that this is, uh, this is good to go uh, post 12 month cosmetic warranty. So when we were putting the plan together, we had uh, a little bit of a back and forth about whether or not to do the dormer over your master bedroom, the double dormer uh, over the main part of the house. I think, you, I think you were set on the double dormer. You weren't sure about the, the smaller dormer. And then this is the modular portion of the house. And then of course, you know, we designed this garage to step forward and the garage was completely built on site. And we were just talking about how your, you know, your friends, anyone who comes over is very impressed and uh, about the architectural value of the of the roof lines and everything like that. Would you do it the same if you were to do it again, or would you make oh, yeah. any changes? No, it, the way it looks now is what we envision. I mean, looking at it from the road, it looks it looks great, and we get all the compliments from people driving by. They love the look, and when people hear modular, they think double wide trailer. This, it's definitely not a double wide. This is. This is a home. I mean, it's just like a regular stick built house. I mean, it's great. This is your attached two car garage, 24 by 24 with uh, two overhead doors, nine foot high or eight foot high? Eight foot. eight foot, so eight foot high by seven wide, I think. And this is not a 10 foot high ceiling. Is this 12? This is 12. We had to go up the extra two feet because of the grade of the house. So we had to match the roof lines. We had to bring it up so that the roof lines were more in, in uh, were, came, came together a little closer. Yes. You didn't have a big dramatic step down. Yes. But in so doing, we, have, uh, we had to build this uh, entranceway into your side, side door. Can you still pull in? I mean, you've got stuff in here and you're using it for other, other things. Have you tried pulling in? I can fit my pickup in here and Danielle can easily fit her SUV in here. So it's plenty of room for two vehicles. Would you have done anything differently in here? Well, for myself, I would have made it a, a three okay. or a two and a half. Sure. But uh, no, everything, it, it works for us and it's plenty of space for the kids' toys and everything we need to do. So. Can we duck around and you show us that Bilco door that we did? Yep. The Bilco doors, no. what do you use it for? Well, mainly I use it for the dogs, but uh, easy access to the backyard, going down, getting tools, whatever I need for to work outside. Okay, so you're happy with it, you would do it again? Oh yeah, definitely. You'd sure. recommend it? I'd recommend it to anybody that could, could use it go down in their basement all the time. I mean, it's a no brainer. Yep. We're in the serenity shower here of the master bathroom. And I just wanted to point out that we had a leak from one of the water lines and we fixed it. It was a, uh, it was a screw hole that, uh, well, it was a screw that came through and punctured the line and we repaired the line and we're repairing the, uh, the effect of it. Uh, it wasn't a major issue, but obviously water is an emergency. If there's a water leak, that's an emergency. We want to fix it right away. I'm just pointing it out because these things can happen. And when they do, we'll fix them. It's not the end of the world. Uh, but I wanted to point out some of the things that can happen when you move into a new home. We're down here in the nine foot poured basement. This is a poured basement wall with the insulation wrap you can see. And people, a lot of people want to upgrade to a nine foot wall. It gives you a little more headspace. The Bilco door exit is behind us. And when you do a Bilco, you can not do a, an egress. That's your point of egress. So we removed the egress window. We put the Bilco door in. Uh, here's our high efficiency furnace. And we were talking a little bit about the, the furnace installation. And when you moved in, you actually did a full clean out of all of the, uh, the HVAC lines. Yeah. And we were talking about if you could do it differently, 
you would probably not do the duckboard, the standard duckboard, which is a, a fiberglass insulation uh, heat run. You would instead upgrade to all metal heat runs. Right. And that was something that was, would be, you know, if you could do it again, you probably would pay the upgrade and you would do all metal insulation, right? Yeah, yeah. it just seemed like the, the ductwork we have now held a lot of dust and we noticed it all throughout the house and probably six months after we moved in, we noticed it all over the place and we had a company come in and clean that. Yeah. It held a lot. So down here in really the utility room, we've got some storage, you've got a workbench and we've got our tankless hot water heater and obviously our, our electrical panel and we've got our water system. So you're on well water. Can you talk a little bit about that? Is that, what's your, uh, what's your water pressure like? What's your water quality like? We have uh, pretty good water quality. We do have a softener system. It helps with the water because we have high iron in this area. Um, but the water comes out good, tastes good. Uh, UV system up there to take out any bacteria there is uh, in the water. It helps purify it. Um, we like our water. We get 14 gallons a minute. It's a uh, it's pretty good for a well and we also have a high pressure system right here that gives us we always maintain a certain we can set the pressure that comes in the house so we always have constant pressure nice. there's no drop at all so when you're taking a shower in the morning it's good pressure i could be doing a load of wash danielle could be taking a shower and Waylon could be running around in the sprinkler sprinkler and you'll have no drop in pressure wow that's amazing. Yep, and you can set it higher or lower, whatever you, whatever you want to do. That's awesome. So that's the tour. The Fantastic Grand, 1830 square feet, three bedrooms, two bath on a nine foot poured basement, two car attached garage. Hopefully you found this candid tour of value to you. Uh, we hope that uh, we can be of service to you in considering your new home project. Feel free to reach out to us with any questions or concerns, comments. We love them all, and we look forward to providing you a proposal for your new home project. Thanks for watching. God bless, and have a great day.